Hello there, welcome to the lesson 3. It's on rotations. It is another simple, easy and short lesson. The learning objective, it's only one of this lesson is use rigid motions to rotate figures, points that are not at the origin. See, this is very important. It's not in the origin and we can describe, we should describe the effects of rotations. We will see problems in that. And there's only one keyword that is rotation. Rotation is rotating, you know, basically rotating like this and like this and like, okay, that is very bad. But anyways, you get the point, it'll, it'll rotate in terms of circle. Now rotation, basically, you can see this is a point. Uh, this is a line over here, point P and M, MP. This is a line. Now, oh, I'm sorry, this is a point M and you need to rotate it along a fixed axis P. So whatever the angle is there, you need to rotate it along this point, not along the origin, because it's very easy along the origin. Now it will be a little bit tricky. We will see that. Now, P does not move, okay? So you need to remember there are few uh, rules if you're rotating along 60, uh, sorry, 90, 180, or 270, or 360 degrees. We have to follow that, which is over here. Whenever you're rotating along 90 degree, the rotation over here, x and y the y and x changes places it changes and the negative negative sign is towards the y so example if this was we, let us take a arbitrary point three and four okay so now you're doing 90 degree rotation it would be minus four and three over here the y becomes the first point minus four and three what about this 180 degree rotation just swap them and put the negative signs that's gonna be minus three minus four that's it whereas the 270 degree rotation would be four over here but the x will be negative that is minus three so these are the answers next let's look into the problem a triangle abc has a vertex a that's given over there the, these are the vertices. We need to graph it and then we need to rotate along about, uh, rotate it along 180 degrees. But there is about a particular point. So this is very important. Minus 5, 3. This is a point where we rotate it. Let's look over here. See, this is the figure. Uh, this is the figure if we plot it. A, B, C. Now, this is the point, minus 5, 3. This point needs to be rotated. We need to rotate it along this point. It's not through the center. So what do we do? Now, first, we need to map the center of the rotation to the origin. That means just get this point towards the center. Or we need to find where it is exactly located from the center. And we need to change this uh, vertices. That means since it's moved over here, all these will be moved somewhere over here. Okay, you translate it first. Why? Because the formulas which we just now saw is only about the origin. We don't have any formula for otherwise. So, uh, we will first map these, to map the center of the rotation to the origin. That is by adding this vector. See now, your x value is how much? Minus phi, right? This would be x plus phi now. And y is 3, so it'll be y minus 3. What you do is very simple. You need to add phi to this and minus 3 from this. Now, why? That is because if you, you basically from this point have to go 5 units to the right to the set to be to the center and 3 units down to come to the center. So it is plus phi minus 3 that is what we are doing to all these points now a b c so a will be minus 3 add 5 over here minus 3 comma 2 b will be adding 5 over here will be minus 1 and minus 3 from 9 will be 6 same thing to the c plus 5 will be 2 and minus 3 would be 3 now next thing is you can rotate it now you have translated it to the origin and rotate 180 degrees about the origin so this is basically translated now we can do the rotation along origin but then once it's done you need to after rotating it will be like this something and then you need to translate it back that's it now what we do is rotate it about 180 degree that is x y becomes negative x negative y so it's very simple whatever the values we found out in the last step 
needs to be just added negative signs. This becomes positive minus this one plus minus minus minus. So that is the thing over here. All you're doing is changing the signs and then they remain. The, the X and Y do not swap their positions. Only the signs changes. What next? You need to rotate it, you need to translate it back over here. Map the center to its original position. From the center, now take it back to the original position. How much does it go? Minus 5 plus 3, right? Minus 5 plus 3. That's over here, this original thing. So all you need to do is x minus 5, y plus 3. So all the points just now we obtained, you need to add 5. So, sorry, minus 5, it'll be minus 2, plus 3, it'll be 1. Same way to all the points and you get the answer. So this is how we basically get it. And so you can see the rotation. You can even, uh, you know, think about the rotation. It would be coming over here. Sorry, it's 180. So this will be coming over here, this over here, and this over here. If you draw a straight line, it would be 180 degrees. So that is how we uh, rotate about a point that is not the origin. Now there's one more problem here. Kendrick is working with a team in a social studies class to create a new country and its garment. Kendrick is responsible for creating the country's flag. He is using geometry software to design the flag on the coordinate plane. Describe how the two yellow stars would be affected if they were rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the center of the white star. Now, this is very important. You you know everything all this just you know what's going on but the most important thing starts over here describe what happens to these two yellow stars when it's rotated 90 degree along the center of this white star so this is like you need to write it out you know what what happens see now if you rotate counterclockwise it's not clockwise it's not going to the right it's going to the left 90 degrees would mean something over here so now if you draw you know, 90 degrees is so much, right? So you need to tilt it by 90 degrees. So that will be somewhere over here. This will be some, this will be coming down. This will be over here, some, something like that. So if the stars were rotated, they would curve along the top sides of the white star, top left. It would curve. Yes, it will come like this as a curve. And together, the pre-image would be creating a semicircle of yellow stars. This is what would happen. So this is basic, uh, just understanding what's going to happen so if it's going to rotate along 90 degree counterclockwise it's just going to be a curve up over here so that's it that's the end of this lesson another short lesson i hope you found it helpful if you have any doubts any questions please do write them in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible all the best dear students